What's up guys and welcome back to the channel if you are new welcome to the channel if you are a subscriber Thank you and welcome back. I just purchased an f-150 from insurance auto auctions that you guys see behind me Just yesterday. I took delivery of the three cars you guys saw and earlier this week I took delivery of another f-150 that I did not do a video for But I'm staying busy last three days. I think I've had about 15 hours of sleep. I am very tired I am very very exhausted and I think I overpaid for this truck so I'm just gonna get it out of the way right now real quick the winning bid was two thousand four hundred and fifty dollars and after fees I paid two thousand eight hundred fifty four dollars it's a 2003 Ford F-150 Super Crew but it looks pretty nice and mileage is decent I like 151 or something um, I played it in person. I heard it run. You could barely hear the thing run. So it seems like a very solid truck. Looks pretty clean. I don't think I'll even need to take it through the car wash. And I'm hoping for the right price, maybe make six, seven hundred bucks on it real quick over the weekend. Get it sold. Let it move on. If not, I guess I'll enjoy it. But once it gets here, you guys will see it. There it is, guys. I literally waited like a minute. This is probably the quickest pullout I've had. And this is what it looks like. So, of course, you know, there's gonna be some scuffs here and there. This is broken cover, uh, but I guess the only other damage is right there where you guys see the markings, which is so minor, I do not plan on fixing it. But since the hood is already propped open, let's check everything in here. got oil see that this is gonna be our transmission fluid we are good oil will be here on the right hand side we have oil right down the center might be dirty or old well, I think I'll start on its own, but let's find out. I'll need a vacuum. Yes. Always a good sign. There we go. No warning lights. Brake light gone. Let's get this AC going. Um, I'm not gonna waste any time, let's hit the road. Alrighty, we passed the security checkpoint that they have. Make sure you're not stealing any cars. And we are hitting the road. All right, there's 30, 35, 40, effortlessly, super smooth. Now, of course, the main thing is so that this thing doesn't overheat and there are no issues, but so far it seems very buttoned down. I don't hear or feel any rattling. Truck will need a little gas in it. But yeah, very quiet and buttoned down in here. So pretty darn fantastic shape. AC, I feel it blowing cold. Windshield is good, no cracks. Guys, I think this was a good buy. The question is, will I be able to sell it super quick and how much money will I make on it? Did about two, three miles away from the auction, jumping on the freeway now. Surprisingly, an absolutely beautiful day out today. It's very nice, but this thing is so smooth. It's a lot better and smoother than the other truck that I have, the one I got a few days ago. the river so blessed to live in this area the truck runs really really well but it's not perfect so first thing radio doesn't work I'll have to check the fuses see if it's a burnt-out fuse or something and the second thing is the driver side headlight bulb is out so I'll have to replace that and I'll check the rear tail lights and turn signals and whatnot the turn signals you know haven't showed me that one of the bulbs is out. So I think just the headlight bulb, the radio, and I will have to take it through a car wash because it has the marker on it, you know, run number and whatnot. And it's a lot easier to get it off 
or clean the windows off after I get the paint off through a car wash. I made it home and uh, when taking right hand turns I noticed something and this is the only flaw. It basically rubs from the damage to the bumper right here against the tire and it doesn't make a pleasant noise so I'll have to fix this up before I list it for sale. But for now, let's get rid of all of this stuff. Oh, here's the mileage, State Farm was the seller. Vacuum it out. Let's see. I really like these trucks. Secret compartment. I don't know if this was installed afterwards or not, but there's that. I am about to replace the headlight bulb because I saw a few in the glove box. So I'm assuming they replaced this one or maybe bought the bulbs and didn't get to it. Whatever the case is, we are going to do that right now. But the procedure how to do that will be in another video. So we're going to skip to it and voila. Man, the sun is in full force out today. Two things left to do on this car, truck, before I photograph it. See if I could locate the audio fuse, the radio fuse. I don't have the original booklet for it. So Google search it will be. And then the last thing is go to Walmart and get some cheap floor mats because these floor mats kind of stink and they are dirty. So I'll just get some all weather floor mats. Here's the passenger fuse box location right underneath the steering wheel. Uh, audio fuse is this one up here. It's a 15 amp. And guys, this looks promising if it will focus. But this fuse is busted, so let's put in a new one. Okay. Nothing. Let's see if I start it. Okay, nothing. So next thing is check the fuse again, see if it blew. No luck on the radio. So I replaced three fuses uh, that are related to audio slash radio. The best I could get is the clock actually showed up on the screen on the radio and then it turned off and no sound or anything. So I'm assuming the head unit is actually bad, which I'm not gonna replace and we are moving on. I forgot to mention there is one more thing is the wheel scratching the bumper all right here's what i did i cut this so unfortunately it's still grabbing just a little bit which i'll need to trim up just a little bit more i thought i did enough but i did not but after this we're going to walmart and then we're going to get this thing photographed that's one way to pick up your kid from school but we are off to Walmart. Sophia bought him a motorcycle today and with her own money that she got birthday or whatever and he lost it in a different store. He forgot it there. So we're gonna get him a new motorcycle, a toy motorcycle. Looks a lot better already. Got some mats. This is gonna be it for today's video guys. I am going to photograph it and list this truck for sale. Hopefully I sell it super quick, but we'll see. You never know with cars. But thank you so much for joining today's adventure. Thank you for your support, and I will see you guys in another video.